The Black Suit Spider-Man plotline is one that has always been my favourite character arc in fiction. It's a story about a man so defeated, so tired, and ultimately so vulnerable to a temptation of rebellion and rage he has to repress due to his responsibility to be better. To be a symbol. To be... a Spider-Man. In 2018, we played through the story following an optimistic protagonist called Peter Parker. He's a man of extreme will and strength who endures and undergoes some of the most terrifying traumas I could never imagine the pain of experiencing. Whether it's watching his mother figure pass before his very eyes, being betrayed by his business partner, best friend and idol, or helplessly waiting to hear back from his dying brother on his medical treatment progress. On top of all that, he also has to deal with the everyday issues such as finance, relationships, and constantly listening to a society that never quite 100% appreciates his efforts. He's a character that's written to go through as many problems as possible to prove that you can always push forward and overcome the most overwhelming obstacles. He's a symbol of hope, perseverance, and most importantly, never giving up despite the circumstances and always finding the strength to move forward. However, underneath all those jokes and all of Peter's lovable mannerisms is a brewing darkness, an anger contained and held back by his own moral code to be responsible which is where the symbiote comes in. The symbiote is in many ways similar to Peter Parker. It's a rejected parasite that desperately wants to connect with someone who it can empathize with and understand with. However, just like any other parasite or addiction, Peter starts to slowly attach and indulge in the symbiote more and more, because it's the only one who can truly understand what he's going through. What makes the symbiote so compelling as a character is it represents something completely different compared to what we usually see with Spider-Man. It allows us to view him on a more personal and internal level. We see his trauma, his pain, and his ultimate descent down a path that completely contradicts the very reason he wore the mask in the first place. It's a metaphor for addiction and how it can destroy us from the inside, transforming us into something completely unrecognizable to our closest friends and loved ones. In the most recent adaptation of this storyline, we follow a broken Peter Parker, who is brutally stabbed to death by a ruthless Kraven the Hunter, and shortly revived by the symbiote who leaves Harry so it can attach itself to the perfect host. As the game progresses, we see Peter give off subtle hints of the corruption at first, such as being rude, dismissive, but as the game continues, he begins to hold back less and less until he becomes a pure manifestation of his own internal rage and pain. There's a scene in this game that I love. It's a scene where Peter visits Harry to check up on him, only to be confronted by MJ as they question the path he's heading down with the suit. However, what they fail to understand is he's too vulnerable without it. He doesn't want to go back to a life of regret and sacrifice. He doesn't want to be weak, because the temptation of power and connection with an entity that understands him better than anyone else is simply too good to give up. What makes this so interesting and relatable on a personal level is he's completely justified in keeping the suit, because it's an outlet for him in the same way some of us indulge in our own toxic behaviours we know are bad for us and everyone around us. However, we do it anyway, because we're just so tired of feeling weak, feeling helpless, feeling alone. Peter throughout the rest of this arc portrays a sense of helplessness and vulnerability which makes his relationship with this body snatcher even more stronger and understandable. He becomes more ruthless, more rude, more aggressive, and straight up even crosses the line of villainy. He's a character that's been through so much and finally gives in to the temptation of the symbiote to release his darkest repressed emotions. The final mission with the black suit starts with him aggressively attacking the man involved with his aunt's death, as he acquires details surrounding the whereabouts of his captured friend Miles. When Peter arrives at the abandoned museum, he brutally beats down each and every one of Craven's men and interrogates the last guard by threatening to throw a buggy on him as he begs for mercy. The moment Peter enters the building, he's immediately imprisoned by Craven and shown a bloody, beaten up Miles as a way to ignite a boiling rage inside of him. In this moment, Peter is reminded of all his trauma, all his guilt and regret, as he begins to quite literally explode into anger and all-out aggression as he desperately fights for his escape and his friend's survival. 
This fight is probably my favourite moment in the game because it's emblematic of everything I enjoy about this story arc in particular. It's about giving into a darkness and a desperate rage to prevent the consequences of something you could have prevented but couldn't. Peter could have stopped Miles from pursuing Lee but he was too busy indulging in his addictions with the symbiotes. He could have prevented his best friend's turn to the dark side, but he couldn't due to his responsibility to be Spider-Man. He could have perhaps prevented his own Aunt May's death, but he simply couldn't. Craven defeats Spider-Man by pinning him up against a tree, crushing his head with his bare hands. Before the symbiote finally takes complete control, the tendrils begin to choke Craven out while Peter levitates above him, taking the role of executioner. At this moment, I'd like to believe Peter saw all of his enemies in the eyes of this desperate hunter. Perhaps he saw the man who killed his aunt, the villains who tortured his family and loved ones, or maybe even the neglectful society that never once saved him despite his cries for help. Maybe Peter saw himself, the broken man who lost himself to a venom he could never understand until it was too late. Peter chokes Craven out violently before Miles comes in at the very last possible moment and rescues him. The two Spider-Men look at one another, with one expressing portrayal and empathy, and the other possessing jealousy and guilt. Miles reasons with Peter, convincing him that the symbiote is artificial, it's not a real source of power that heals him, it's just a violent addiction that amplifies his most negative and internal desires and weaknesses. My favourite moment in the Black Suit storyline is the realisation of the monster our friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man has become and what it's doing to him. The story doesn't end with corruption, it ends with our hero tearing off this vile addiction and finally learning how to save himself. It represents our darkest, most toxic addictions and bad habits that blind us from seeing the truth and the light in ourselves. It's a story about overcoming the most overwhelming adversity so we can see the light and the strength to beat temptation and not lose ourselves to the things we want the most. Sometimes we have to be steady. Sometimes we have to be better. Hey guys, thanks for sticking to the end of the video. To any of my fans who've been wondering where I've been the past couple of weeks or months or how long it's been since I last uploaded, the truth is, I've just had a lot going on in my life recently, a lot of stuff I've had to process about my future and stuff like that, so I've kind of just taken a break away from YouTube just so I can really focus on those things in my life. However, I'm excited to announce that I'm going to be making a return to YouTube. I'm going to be uploading regularly, but not consistently. I'm just going to upload whenever I feel like it and whenever there's something interesting to talk about. So if you enjoy essay style videos like this or one of my boss fighter videos, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on the future content that's going to be coming very soon. Anyway guys, I'm just going to go get a drink of water because my throat hurts. I've been really ill the past couple of weeks. There's something about this channel, whenever I upload a video I get ill. So yeah, I'm going to go get a drink and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Take care of yourselves.